John Herbert Dirks was born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba. My favorite activities were really sports. I spent an awful lot of time in sports. I was, at that time, smaller for my age, so it was harder for me to crack the high school football team. But I could happily throw the ball 40 yards, and uh, I couldn't do it today. It was always clear in our family that one would seek higher education. It was just part of the ethos that one should do something in life. And then in university, I was going to go into physics and mathematics, but I decided uh, I wasn't smart enough. And so I decided to go to medicine instead. Uh, it turned out to be a very happy decision for me. And in my postgraduate training, I became a fellow of Dr. Robert Berliner, who was at the National Institutes of Health. And he was considered in kidney disease and nephrology, uh, the leader in the world at the time. So I had, a, I had terrific mentors throughout this career. John Dirk started his career as a nephrologist and a clinician scientist. He certainly made his name as a very well-known contributor to new knowledge. When I was growing up and uh, studying to be a nephrologist, uh, John Dirks was one of the leaders in the field, one of our role models in micropuncture. I always had the opportunity to stay in nephrology in the background and at international levels and to uh, have leadership opportunities with high spots, sometimes low spots, but still, in the end, being able to contribute to building of academic medicine in different places in Canada. He's had an eclectic career. Basic bench science, clinician, a, holding two of the most senior posts in medical uh, administration in Canada. Then went on to lead an international consortium uh, bringing together nephrologists from across the world. And that global consortium continues today. It has made major contributions to, for instance, the treatment of acute kidney failure during times of emergency, such as earthquakes or floods. And, you know, this has been a very important contribution. And then in quite a remarkable way, uh, his career has been uh, crowned by uh, him taking on uh, the Gardner uh, Award and the Gardner Foundation. When he started, it was a small family foundation with really not much profile outside a small scientific community. He has brought such amazing leadership and vision and creativity uh, to this role. Um, this essentially has been an exercise in nation building. So we now have five international awards. Uh, I might mention parenthetically, as it were, that 78 of our awardees in our history have gone on to win the Nobel Prize. He has basically brought it to where it is today, which is uh, recognized as one of the three top medical prizes in the world. So just as uh, the Nobel is identified with Sweden, uh, so the, the Gairdner will forever be identified with Canada and with John Dirks. And I'm, I'm grateful to Faye and the family, the many friends and the many people I've worked with my Gardner colleagues, and a long list of people. A determined, compassionate leader, a committed global health advocate, an exemplary builder in health, research, and innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. John Dirks.